Pat, we have a wonderful tribute that has been put together as we mark the final few minutes of your legendary career. WBBM's Rob Hart has put this together. Pat's career has really been going strong during six different decades. On your news and information station, WNIS, Chicago. It's 1976, and you're listening to an experimental all-news format for FM stations called the NBC News and Information Service. A new concept with a familiar voice. And that's how Action Line handled one problem. You can read more Action Line in today's Chicago Tribune. I'm Pat Cassidy. The NIS was ahead of its time, and when 101.1 FM went from news to rock, Pat Cassidy went from FM to AM. 67, WMAQ aired country music during the day, carried the White Sox at night, and papered the city in bumper stickers that promised to make you rich. Everyone's coming up a winner on WMAQ. That was one of the Good Morning Guys, along with Lee Sherwood, Tim Weichel, and Jerry Tapp. 1988 brought a new owner and a new sound. This is WMAQ, All News 67. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. It's 30 degrees and cloudy skies in Chicago at 5 o'clock on this Tuesday, the 1st of March. Good morning. I'm Pat Cassidy, and for the very first time, here's what's happening. In 2000, a flurry of mergers and acquisitions in broadcasting led to musical chairs on the Chicago radio dial. When it was all over, 670 was the score, and Pat Cassidy was on the move. Tune in to News Radio 780 WBBM on Tuesday, August 1st, when Pat Cassidy joins Felicia Middlebrooks. Good morning, I'm Felicia Middlebrook. Driving already slow on the Edens at the start of that road work. We'll update it in three minutes. Good morning, I'm Pat Cassidy. Hey Pat, Felicia here. We anchored together nearly 20 years covering all the big stories. 9-11, El Chapo, Me Too, Elections, Black Lives Matter, COVID. You'll soon hear three words. You look rested. I'll miss you on WBBM. Longtime morning news editor Jim Bennett. What you told our listeners on the morning of September 11, 2001 still sends chills on my spine. You said something like, folks, you know what the skyline of New York looks like. Well, now the two towers of the World Trade Center are gone. The first two decades of the 21st century have been marked by war, a global pandemic, and rapid technological change. And through it all, there's been one constant. No matter what happened, you can always hear this at 5.05 in the morning. I'm Pat Cassidy, by the dawn's early light. 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 Dawn's early light. By the dawn's early light. The dawn's early light. Pat Cassidy is our papa bear in the newsroom. Always a wise voice to let us know it's all going to be okay. Pat Cassidy, everyone's radio dad. His famous last words to me when I became the play-by-play -play announcer for the Chicago Bears. The higher you move up that tree, the more your butt's exposed. It's Cisco Cotto, I first met Pat Cassidy when I was an intern at WMAQ Radio back in 1998. He was the same kind and humble man back then that he is today. 